I saw something very interesting in Psalm 105. The children of Israel see God's glorious works, His wonders, His signs. And it says, through these experiences, that they believed His words and they sang His praise. The very next sentence, it says, they forgot the Lord. The next sentence after that says, they did not wait for Him. The next sentence after that says, they craved intensely. And I believe that this is a major concern of God's heart. That even in the midst of glorious experiences with Him, these public displays of power, we just got finished with an outstanding visitation of the Lord at Jesus 17. And my heart sees this passage and it makes my heart pray. Literally, I feel intercession come upon me for those that had wonderful encounters, glorious experiences of His presence there. But then it's so easy when we get back into normal life to forget the Lord. And so that's my prayer, that in the midst of seeing glorious signs and wonders, believing His words and singing His praise, that we would not forget Him. As soon as things start settling down, the next thing that it says after forgetting the Lord is that they did not wait for Him. You can see that forgetting the Lord is tied together with not waiting for Him. If we will not daily take time to sit and wait in His presence, we are showing, we are acting out forgetting the Lord. He may remain in our mouths. We may continue to do everything externally the same. But once our hearts do not wait for Him, we have forgotten Him. And the next thing it says was, they craved intensely. It begins to empower the old man when our hearts do not wait for the Lord. We do not subject our hearts to Him. Literally submit to His leadership staying in His presence and being in His leadership. Very united. You cannot live in His presence outside of His leadership. And there's no way to have His leadership outside of His presence. So here's my prayer for us. That in the midst of signs and wonders, in the midst of miracles and glorious encounters that we will all share together in the public place, that they would be so special to us and lead us to the secret place. That we would not forget Him and therefore not wait for Him and therefore slip into craving intensely the old things. Father, I thank You that You hear me. And I pray for those that are watching, those that have had recent glorious encounters with You. I pray, God, you would pull them in, that the public touch would turn into a private kiss. That they would go behind closed doors and find you there, waiting. I pray they would hear even now, I have been waiting for you here. Precious Lamb, help us keep you ever and always before us, that we might live in your sweet presence and stay subjected to you. In your glorious name. Amen. Be encouraged. He waits for you.